Hi guys, I am Zach Wilson, and today I'll be doing part one of my CW Adam suit build. This is from the show DC Legends, and is worn by the actor Ray Palmer. And um, I like the suit, so I decided I was gonna take a shot at it. I like to get it done before the Dallas Comic Con, well actually Fan Days 2017, which I have all spring break to work on it, so we'll see how far I get before. Um, right now I have the lower legs done in all EVA foam, um, which I've taken a long time to look at the details and like try to get the shape best right for the legs because they're quite interesting. And I think I managed to get the shape right. Um, it's got, like, it's been split in the multiple pieces like it is. And where the seams are, it has uh, like little screws that go in here. So those will be added in afterwards, and I believe there was a latch right here. That will all be good. Um, I have both of those done. They both have a rough sand on them, and I just washed all of the powder off of them, so that should be good. Then um, I also just finished up working on the lower, oh, the entire shin. Um, it, it It's a really strange shape as well, and so I had to do it out of EVA foam because I usually do it all my stuff in cardboard and because I'll work a lot better in cardboard so I thought I would try take a shot at doing it in EVA foam um, this one you can see it's got a little rocket booster sort of thing on here it's I'm not sure exactly what it's for this thing needs to be cleaned up a lot more because it's very rough um, these are supposed to be like little jets and so is right in here in here there's these little tiny white flaps I'll see if I can find on these G, uh, these three design um, CAD for the entire suit, which I found, which is really good for when working on this because it's got the whole suit all around. Um, these are the little jets I'm talking about. The one I currently have here, this is the left leg, and <clears throat> you can sort of see the resemblance. And there, I've looked at a lot of other pictures, but it's got this really weird curly cued thing at the end, which wraps around your ankle. Which you can see right there, if my camera will load. There we go. And you can see it kind of wraps around to the back over here. I don't know why I did that, but you know, I don't know. Um, these, my part of my next step will be to find a way to latch these two together. It looks like from the picture it's got these little silver circles. Which should be not be that hard because I did this in my Mark VI Iron Man suit just a little bit ago. Um, the way I got the templates is I took this model and I measured how big the waist was. Like from the foot up to the hip bone, I took and I measured it ended up being like 5 inches or so. And then I measured from the foot of me to my hip and I got like 35 inches or something. So it ended up being like... 7.04 inches and so for every inch it is on here it's set it's and it's one it's 7.04 inches on here so that helped me scale it up um i made small diagrams these are really rough but you can see the general shape this is the shin right there and you can see the shape right there you can sort of see it. and then it wraps around there this is the thigh you got that weird hammer looking thing with this little thing off to the side. And then it wraps around the back of your ankle. Um, this is a rough, this is a picture I drew just to kind of get, purport, well, try and see if I could get all the pieces done. Now I was roughing out. But um, next, I will probably move up to the belt area and the cod and the ab section. And I should be able to do that all out of. The belt, main belt, will probably be made out of cardboard, actual belt, and then the EVA film will be added after, just to give it more support and stuff, in different levels. Um, the steel cabling that kind of holds the whole suit together, I'm probably going to be doing it out of elastic cord, and painting it silver, and so that when it moves, I, like, I'll be moving, so it'll move, and it should give me that look I'm looking for. If not, I will actually use steel cable because I do have some. Hopefully it won't get too heavy on me, but that's what you have to do in cosplay. Um, 
this will be this is my first video for my YouTube channel, so if you guys like it, um, please tell me that I'll continue to post videos about the suit and its progress. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy.